It is Roadrunner number six, and uh, we are tired. We're just hanging there, as you can see. Um, this insert was taped in 2006. Uh, the actual Roadrunner show was in April of 2000, and um, in April of 2006, the energy of the car was really, really, really good. And so this is number six. This is also a no. Brainer. We are still training Tina. Last week we showed you Atlanta in the prison, the solar panels and the, and the windmills to show how self-sufficient everything was. And uh, it's really good to explore alternative methods and, and meet people from other places. And so we're going to continue today and meet some people. We been having audio problems, so we really hope that we can, um, that the volume uh, improves a little. One of the things we found was that when we play the disc and tapes, the volume is very good. And then somewhere along the line, uh, with my cam, uh, what is it, um, Comcast box, I have to turn everything almost twice as high, and I don't know how we can regulate that or what we're going to do about that. So hopefully um, we can pull this off, and if not, then I don't know, but we'll try it. So we're going to keep going now. We are still in Victorville, uh, California. So come right along here. Just, just to remind you, this was the. Um, we are way in the middle of nowhere. This was what we wanted to have as our highlight of the trip, the Stripper Hall of Fame. When we got there, we had made arrangements to film it for you. When we got there, we couldn't get in. We later found out that the owner had died while we were in route. And also the lady working with him was really, really ill. And so we couldn't do that for you. They moved the whole museum to Las Vegas. And um, so for those of you that eventually get to Vegas, it might be something to look at. But that was really going to be our highlight. But nothing we could do. It was in the middle of nowhere, of course. And then across the street was a field that could have actually been a crop circle field had it been a little, a little later in the year. The only field we saw that even had enough crops here, we're looking at it here, where somebody could have actually put some in it. So, but it was just too early in the year. And crop circles being paranormal, we never know when they show up or if. And then to remind you, we went shoe shopping, and that came out pretty good. And boy, we loved our shoes. This is the phone number if you want to call them. 
um, they said, first they said no mail order, but then I think he changed his mind. But boy, they had shoes. We bought 11 pairs of shoes for, bought 11 pairs of shoes for 80 some dollars. And then of course I went back the next day and uh, bought the red ones right there. The ones that go with nothing that I own, but I, I wanted, I just wanted them. That's all. Ebony and I went back there in 2008. That's what the ladies are wearing in California. It's not there anymore. You. It's been good because guess what? We got a red light. And there's the train. This is downtown Victorville. Mm -hmm. On Route 66. Scenery has changed again. We passed the town of history when we came in. Uh -huh. It's the town right before, what is that word I can never say? It's just a few miles from Apple Valley. Um, Apple Valley had a earthquake. Hello. I think you got it in special effects. Across it, especially then. <laughs> look at, look at our viewers next door. I said we got viewers next door. Okay, and I got to go. Eleven designs. All right. We, we was trying to go to the hotel. We took on that road last week to show you how confusing this all was. I'm going down this road and make a left. Well, anyway, the goal and then we get to the part where it says uh, no right turn, but we had to make a right turn. So of course we thought we was gonna run on to I-15, uh, going to Boston on the wrong way. But as it turned out, we were next to the highway. But there for a minute we couldn't tell, especially at night when we couldn't see so good. About there was a mobile, so for Exxon holders, uh, Exxon is available Monday morning, everybody needs cars. Probably boy up in that area. Mm -hmm. Design Motel 6. Well, I'm going to get you across I-15. Yeah, so here comes the tricky part. Yeah, Los yeah. I'm sorry, Boston in Los Angeles. That's where it's going. And if you go in south, you go into San Bernardino. We thought we was running up the freeway. Remember the freeway? The wrong way. You'll see what we're talking about. Okay, you see, there's a sign that says no right turn. It says no right turn. And then we said, well, now what, now what? We didn't know what to do there for a minute. Guess what? Look like a one-way street. And there's the mobile. 339. 339. That was yeah. in April 2006. And then back in the desert at the hotel. And there's also Howard Johnson. We're going to drive up here and show you where we've been spending. We actually took it to the hotel last week. Wow. So that'll just refresh your memory here. There's one of the housekeeping ladies in a red GT. <coughs> a Yoda Celica. Yeah. We had an experience there. One of the women that works there, uh, somebody had stole her grandfather's urn, and uh, she asked me to find it for her, and I did. It was a palm tree. So we felt like I had done my good deed, and we did find the urn for her. Somebody had stole it. Yeah. And he He's helping with the uh, internet got us connection. And everything, so we read all the reports that everybody He wrote. worked in the front office. We, we already at the Motel 6, according to the website. And you, you, are you local? Me? Mm -hmm. Actually, I live over in Pinion Hill, so I'm fairly local. I don't know where that is. That's that way, about 40 minutes. <laughs> 40 minutes. So you do have to go on the inner state. Uh, I'm sorry? You have to go on the inner state. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I have to get on the freeway. Yeah, you know? yeah we've been working around that. And so, you, and you, you worked here a long time. I've worked here for two and a half years. That's quite a while. And I've worked at Washington Mutual for about two months. Oh, cool! <laughs> two, two jobs. 
so so what are you a young dad or something no. or you just need money i i support my mother and my brother so you are supporting somebody yeah. see how psychic i am mm -hmm. <laughs> well that's so commendable and so um i might be back and i really appreciate that's where we're going this year we're going to stay at the same I hotel you see what you get when you go to motel yes. sick yeah. i love helping people it's, yeah it's, it's great that way <laughs> okay i but thank I, you that's yeah, exhausted awesome. good night thank you very much well it was a pleasure cool. meeting the both mm -hmm. of you you have a wonderful okay. night okay bye and that should go on in five minutes for you okay thank you mm -hmm. bye-bye and so we emailed them some we emailed everybody and they kept track of us and uh, Wait till we see what's in here. we're gonna go back to the little restaurant here for a minute for those of you that missed it last week because some of you called and said you wanted to do the peanut thing again so here you go you pay to make a mess this is the floor. I taped that. Uh, I filmed that deliberately so you can see what a mess we was able to make. Look at that. Peanuts. I think it's a wonderful idea. You pay to make a mess and then they donate the money. Two different uh, agencies, uh, some thumbs for seniors and, and other things. Yeah. California, uh, you have to go outside to smoke. The restaurants are like here. They do not allow you to smoke in uh, inside. We went to a place and sat outside and smoked the hookah. And, um, yeah. But Nevada, of course, is wide open. So. Here is the food again. Rice, greens, and barbecue. In 2008, we were not able to smoke in Nevada. They changed the law on that. Catfish. Catfish. There you go. Here for a minute. We found $97,000 thrown peanuts here. I'm not sure if, if this it's restaurant, uh, restaurant, I don't think it's a this chain or anything. Here are the pork chops. Three of those yesterday, can you believe it? There you go. And this would be the best. Hey, Jackie. I'm good. Her name okay, is Jackie. Okay, we had a wonderful day yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Uh-huh. So, um, after we leave here, what do you remember? I remember you have to, to speak worry, up. To worry about myself. Uh-huh. Not to worry about anybody else. Uh-huh. And to try to take to worry about myself and take and to live life for me and not anybody else. Uh-huh. I think this is a little now, low. Are you comfortable with that? Um this, this young oh, lady you this. was homeless. You eighteen, huh? Yes. She's eighteen. What does it feel like to be eighteen in today's world? It's it's a scary place to be. When you don't have any family and you don't have anything else, you have to depend on yourself. She was they, all by herself. You know, they don't have to worry about you anymore. You're an adult, so it's a very scary thing. Uh-huh. She but says a very scary very thing. You have cerebral palsy. Yeah. Yeah. She has cerebral palsy. It is. Yeah. And so um, I'm going to put you in charge of the world. What are you going to do? Can you close the door for a minute, please? I want to be... She wants to be successful. Okay, so that's you. She wants to go to school. I repeat my question. I'm going to put you in charge of the world. What are you going to do? But you are in charge of the world. So whatever I say is going to do. She said, whatever, I'm going to okay. say it's going to go. <laughs> okay, but you can apply that in your private life. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. It was wonderful meeting you, and we wish you well. Thank you. And we got to go. <laughs> okay, bye. We left her uh, and a couple of the others in our room with permission. We left early in the morning, and... Um, well, anyway, we all know...
We have the stuff at the store and we saw I'll finish that in a minute. these bikes here. And isn't it wonderful how people take chances and, and do things just to get a point across? Yeah. The anti-war, we're uh, just trying to, you know, say that, okay, the war's wrong, but the people that are fighting it aren't. We're just uh, trying to, absolutely, know, yeah. trying to support moral whatever for the people that yeah. are actually over there dying. Yeah. We're not necessarily anti yeah. anything. This is non-political. Okay, uh, absolutely. Yeah, now tell me, how, how far did you go? Uh, we've gone about 16,000 miles. We started 16,000? Yeah, we started February 14th, 2004. Hmm. I don't know what to say to that. My God, we've been doing it a long time. Yes, we have. Uh -huh. So a lot of opposition or? Yeah, we've actually run into some opposition. Yeah. We've had that couple of people throw bad things at us, run us uh -huh. off the road. Uh -huh. Every once in a while, we even get a little support. <laughs> Every once in a while. Yeah. Most of the time, just opposition. Opposition, yeah. Usually it's from the Navy. I don't know what their problem is. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm, I'm out there, uh, I'm out there doing things and I know what that feels like sometimes, you know, yeah, but it's almost the worse they make it, the more you know you're doing the right thing, you know. Yeah, that's, that's generally kind of, it. It kind of gives you strength and stuff. We had a soldier come up to us that uh, lost three of his men over there that were in his squad, yeah. asked us not to stop doing this. Yeah. And that was pretty much when we decided that no matter what, we're going to make it to the end. Yeah, absolutely. So I think you in your name, if you want My to. name's Eric. Eric? And it's Robert. And Eric and Robert. Robert. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go here and get some coffee and stuff, okay? Yeah, we Thank you got very him a little much. food and yeah, gave so him you're some money. Keep doing that until, until. until it is. So they're going to do this till it's done. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and this is uh, on some kind of junction we are on, huh? In the middle of nowhere. 16,000 miles. 16,000 miles, they went on a bicycle. Well, anyway, back to the girl. Uh, they were homeless, so we asked the man management if we could give them our room till noon, and they said yes, so that's how they slept. And that's what it looks like, uh, sort of in the middle of the desert, I guess. Buffalo this must be a living ghost town. Yeah, maybe someone will explain that to us, huh? Yeah. yeah. Hold it. Yeah, Father Crawley, you can look him. Well, we are in Victorville. Well, anyway, um, what happens is, as you're watching this, uh, we're getting ready to go to the living ghost town and uh, Ebony and I have decided to go back and actually spent the whole night there and um, I'm fighting in this clip here I'm fighting wasps again so um, we're gonna spend the night there and and see if we can catch unusual things for you but we spent uh, most of the afternoon there it's called Rendsburg and uh, Yeah, we're still talking about the Mima Mounds and fighting, and fighting bees. This is going to be funny here in a minute. Yesterday, oh God, they're everywhere. You talk, wow. Yesterday we had gone to Albertsons and they had... This way. Yeah, I am, Ebony. Hey. I'm sorry, I had to run. To run. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was oh, running. <laughs> That's Ebony talking. Yesterday we went to the store and they had two liter of sodas. Ten for one dollar. Yeah. So we got a couple, and we came home. We got thirty of them. Well, eventually. Eventually, thirty. Yeah. So we came home, and we had called my mother, yeah. and she said, "Why didn't you get us some?" So we decided we were going to come today, but something said, "Okay." Hey, you have one. Oh. In your hair. Wasps. So, yeah, that's what they look like. So we went out again last night at like 10. Yeah. And as we were pulling out, we saw a UFO. Yeah, we saw a okay. UFO. 
And so we were watching it, and then we couldn't find it again. Okay. So we're going down old Highway 99 by the airport, and to the left is the airport. It was completely dark, and if there was an airplane, it would be lit up blue. And all of a sudden, there was this light. It looked like a floodlight, but yeah. bigger. Big. And it stayed on long enough so me and my Omi will, okay. will see it. And then if you blunk, if you would have blinked, you would have missed, missed it. Missed it, yeah. Um, pause that for a minute. And so we both saw it. Yes, Ebony. The light just shut off. And then all of a sudden there was this guy. B. 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 Mm -hmm. B? B. On me? Right there. Okay. Oh. Fighting bees. So oh. 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 Needless to say. There's bees everywhere, so what is that? Yeah, yeah. Um so there was this guy, he looked like a homeless guy, in the middle of nowhere, that just came out of nowhere after this light had just turned off. Yeah. And we almost hit him. Yeah. But we knew that it was a UFO yeah. that had landed, and it turned on the lights for us. And with it that did. thought of my leg problem. Later, right? Oh, yeah. Right there, where, where all the... Well, they sell cars, and there's two big wireless that block at everything. Yeah. yeah. And they were just so quiet. Yeah. So we think this guy wasn't a guy. Wasn't a guy. I really don't know who he was. You know? That actually used to be the hospital. Uh-huh. So now we are at the ghost town. Uh, cool. So there's this, when you get past me in the field, you can see some of the old shacks. Uh-huh. And then, um, behind the little house... Was at the beginning of town, the woman told us what all to look for. Cribs, and it's where the hookers worked out of. And you'll notice the doors face this way, so they didn't face town, so people saw... Oh, cool. It's coming and going. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I, yeah, we'll do that part. And be sure you go in the general store. Uh -huh. Make sure you go to the they general to store. They, that has, the back bar is over 100 years old, oh. and it's a soda fountain. Soda okay. fountain? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it's really pretty. Oh, we could buy, like, water to drink or something oh, in there yeah, as well? Oh, a little store up there. Uh, thank that. you. They have food. Oh, cool. Thank, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And you said you don't mind if I film no. right here? No, huh? Okay. The bummer is nothing. Most of the stuff's not open. Okay. The thank no you. No problem. Thank you. We appreciate it. Have a good day, you guys. There was Tina talking. It was off the road okay, there a little bit. Okay, a living ghost town. Ransburg, yeah. That's the jail. That's the jail. I think that's where the hooker house is, right there. Look. Uh huh. So they got where. That was the know, Bordello. Women on the windows. Uh huh. Let's see. That's where the hookers hung out. Antiques. We'll get the jail from the other side. Mojave. The general store people. Oh, well, it's oh, oh, look at that. Isn't that cool. See it? Mm -hmm. I got the old truck. Um, I think we need to uh, stop here for a minute. The bag is going on our end of the trail post office. Sometimes what we talk about is not so really relevant. Is Post office. Okay. Hello. Hi, Lodging in an antique joint. The joint. <laughs> Little store. That's Tina. Oh. 
in the French us. No, three ninety five. Three ninety five all the way. Because we took all the back rooms. We still are in touch with the French us. Yeah. <laughs> this is fifty one years. So yeah. uh, rolling. Yeah, congratulate me. You, of yeah. course, we will be. Fifty one years. Yeah, you poor, men, men you suffer poor, poor dear. Yeah, there you go. We drove through here and um, and you kind of got stopped and you somewhat of an hysteria and oh, you traveled. Oh, there's not many of these ghost towns left, so you've got to stop and see them. Uh -huh. You don't want them turned into tourist fight things. Uh huh. See. So in other words, keep the people out. What, what I look for in these old towns is scungy bar rooms. Ha. Huh. Scungy bar rooms, because there's not very many scungy bar rooms left. Uh -huh. You got to have wood floors, uh -huh. and you got to have bathrooms that really stink. Cool. <laughs> there, there was a lady down here. Um, we was asking her if we could, you know, film. She told us a little bit, and then she immediately told us about the churches, and then she told us about the bordello. Yeah. And we're gonna film the bordello on the way out. Yeah. yeah. Churches, uh, churches. Yeah. But bar rooms. And bordellos. bordellos. Oh, bordellos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where's that? Oh, yeah. Where's that place that the whole house is filled in bottles? Oh, that's over in uh, yeah. Rylight. She said that she said the doors were facing the other way, so could nobody see where the men were going. But, you know, in Florence, Colorado, and in some other places, they have tunnels under the city, mm -hmm. uh -huh. under the town where women go shopping and the men would just disappear. Yeah. 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 That's go see like the soil in, doves. Uh -huh. That's just like in uh, Virginia City. It's the same way? Virginia City has got the whole town is nothing but my new tunnels underneath. Uh -huh. All the tunnels. You ought to go there. There's a lot of history there. We, we, were, we, we, we intended, yeah, you tell the story, okay. but you, you need About to. About the exotic land? Right. We actually, uh, there's a museum over in Hellendale that is called Exotic Museum Exotic Land, uh -huh. where they had Berlot, right? Berlay. Berlot. Uh, um, Berlaps. 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 For when, uh -huh. like, this much skin was yeah. provocative to oh. all the way up. Uh -huh. And the lady, um, well, the man died last month, and the lady, she's very ill right now, and they're actually moving it to Vegas to preserve everything, and they're sending oh, yeah. it all over there. This so is where really now? Cool. And Hellendale, not oh. far from here. You oh. know where Vanderbilt uh -huh. is? Yeah, I right know. Well, they've never been up there. No, it's a yeah. nice museum, but it's yeah. out in the middle of nowhere. You would never think it was there. We were so lived in California all his life. Uh. Never been there. Oh, <laughs> we, wow. we were so disappointed, and then we went to eat yesterday, and we ran into an, a young man that was interested in the UFOs and things, and it turned out he lived right there by the museum. Uh -huh. So he really tried his best to get us in there anyway. Oh, okay. He did. It was very nice. But, but you, when you, you make when up you, from our disappointment. When you go, <laughs> when you go through ghost towns, though, the first thing you want to do is look for scungy bar rooms, because they're generally the last business that closed down in a ghost yeah. town, and, and most of them are sense. still operating. Uh, yeah, it does make sense. Yeah, yeah. And it's uh, that's uh, There's that most thing. men are weak; they they gravitate to scungy bar rooms. Obviously, you're not 51 years, sir. That's awesome. Oh, he wishes. <laughs> Don't we all? Yeah. Don't we all. But you're a wonderful lady. Oh, That's probably you. why you're still married, because your outlook is wonderful, oh, yeah. Oh, well, she takes oh, yeah. care of me. Yeah. She's a good traveling companion. Yeah. Oh, well, Looks so like you. a good lifelong partner as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 52 years. Go. Well, it's right about what Last the dates were. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to we're planning a trip in June. We're going north, north Yellowstone, and that's oh. what we're going to do. That's we're just going to take our uh -huh. go as fast as you can because there's some real issues with the ground. Oh yeah, that are real clean. vulnerable. Uh huh. Yeah. In in fact, on the website when you when you first get there, there is an earthquake site in here, and if you click on that, it gives you all the activity in that area. With live feeds and well, everything, so like that. yeah. You mean that thing's about ready to blow? Uh, we don't know when it's going to blow, but it is. Uh, but a lot of areas are closed already. In oh yeah. Words, uh -huh. Check on the website before you go making your travel, and if you uh -huh. look on our website, you'll see the whatever's going on with the earth at the time, and it'll make better for your plan. Yeah, because you don't want to go there and then it's closed. What know? I like to see is when the they got those those bubbling pots, uh -huh. and the little doggies run to get into the you know to take. <laughs> just we got it, yeah. Okay. Um, in your name? Richard Spear. Richard Spear. Tell me now, you was telling me about when it floods. Yeah, we did. 
when it rains two or three days, they'll cut off, they'll cut off Rand Road and 14 because the water just washed right the uh -huh. roads out. Things like that. We just can't, we're just kind of stranded up here a little uh -huh. bit. How long you lived here? Oh, about 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty okay. nice up here. Yeah. You know? We didn't know what a living ghost town was. Oh, really? So that would make you a living ghost, would it? <laughs> kind of, I guess. <laughs> 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 it was very nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. Uh, thank yeah. you. Uh, uh, do you have? Can you feel? Uh, can you feel anything? You know, you got a little. Excuse me. You have spooks, yes. The owner said, "Fine, go ahead." And Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. So, <coughs> is there is there things left from the olden days? You would say. Oh yeah, a lot. A lot. Uh -huh. A whole lot of stuff up here. It's amazing how we can coexist, huh? It's it's nicer up here than it is it's in the cities. Uh -huh. Up here, more people are more down to earth, and uh -huh. it's kind of a slow pace a little bit up here. Yeah. And, you know, and uh, so you get down in the city down there, you, they just uh, they're just too fast. Uh huh. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I live in Red Mountain over there. Uh huh. We saw that sign, yeah. Yeah, I live over there. It's uh -huh. about 100 people living in there. Yeah. Hang on just a minute. We're getting ready to go. So we're gonna go inside of the store by the fountain here. Anyway, and I thank you very, very much. Uh -huh. Cleaners Union. Saw that fountain. Yeah, come on in. No, I got it already. I had one. Come on in. You saw the famous people that's been here. Look at there. Oh, wow. Look at there. Here's one of those gliders. Cards, and here are our new found friends. We are browsing, browsing. <laughs> Little drugs, a uh, stuff, a uh, store, it has everything there. And here's an old fashioned soda fountain. Okay, you wanna, would you like an ice cream? That would be great, I'll thank you. Oh, thank you. Come on over here, dear. Yeah. We're gonna do ice cream. She's coming. How wonderful. Yeah. How cool. All soda pump. We're gonna have ice cream. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Out there talking. She's out there talking. Not sure what this is up there, but I like it. Look at it. This is one part of the building. We are now going into another part of the building. And please notice what's getting ready to take place here. Which one are you? Which one? I got both of them. I'm, I'm interested in the... Well, that one's for where they use them on trucks and where, what do you call it? Catch on fire or something? Oh, no fire extinguisher. There you go. Yeah. You see this? I just... Oh! I, I could see it through the viewfinder. I just stepped into the old part of this place. Mm -hmm. and and it, everything shifted. changed. It's like it got stuck there for a minute. These are all, look at it, these are all artifacts. I could feel it as I stepped into that place. We actually filmed some airplanes to show the people the difference between airplanes and that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a lot of chemtrails, huh? Yeah. Yeah. This, I don't know what they're dropping, but, you know, they're dropping on everybody. I know it. And the average person don't even think about that. No, they don't. I watch a lot of science channel channels. Uh -huh. I listen to Art Bell and everybody. Oh. And I'm, a, I'm an avid listener. You know, every night I listen to them. You have a computer? No, I don't. Uh-huh. Uh, well, my website, it chopped us up. We got from the Art Bell show to something you want to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sometimes we get to, when I was working on the Hildago show out here in Cuddyback, uh -huh. there's about eight of us that saw this, this thing just dance in the sky like this. Uh -huh. And it just went over the mountain and disappeared. Uh -huh. Then one night I was sitting in front of my house, and uh, a bunch of friends came up from China Lake. <coughs> and uh, we sat there drinking a beer, and all of a sudden this thing came flying over real low. Lights all under it, you know. It, it barely... Tangible, right? Huh? It was tangible, no? Oh, yeah, we yeah. could see it, you know. Yeah. And there uh, was a full moon and everything. And uh, so we just we just watched it go by. Uh-huh. 
and then I got some friends who live out of Cuddyback, way out there in the middle of the, the other side of the dry lake. Every now and then they got something going over, shining lights all down on their properties and stuff out oh, there. Oh, really? Yeah. Scares the shit out of them. You know, any any uh, cattle mutilations in these areas? No, that's no. Not, I know of. Yeah, that's well, in we Colorado no mostly. Up here. Oh, huh? I mean, I've never seen anything well, up here. There's a sign in there that says we have no cows, so we don't need your ball. Yeah. Uh, I guess that was a no brainer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, great yeah. sign, yeah. Yeah, um, but speaking of good fortune, though, when I got my divorce, you know, uh -huh. I was lived in a park for two years. We were just discussing how everything yeah. leads up to where uh -huh. you're right uh, So anyway, I, I I didn't have nothing. Uh huh. And so anyway, I live in the park and I seen all these people in there, you know. And I'm going, damn, you know, I can't, you know. So I started washing dishes and stuff at pizza parlor and stuff to get me a bicycle, you know, so I can look for something better, right? And I earned that and I had another part-time job, another part-time job, just doing uh -huh. dishes and stuff like that, doing yards. And I wound up getting an old junk car. Uh huh. You know? And so anyway, then I start sleeping in my car next to the park. Uh -huh. Then I got a job for Burn Security. Uh -huh. You know, and I started making. They got me a nicer car. Uh huh. And then then I just I had to get out. It was just, it was just too, too too much for me. Yeah. So I come up here. I you know I had no place else to go. But the really the funny part was that I went down to the base down there. You know. And you were VA. Explain yeah. that to the people. And uh, but being a VA Vietnam veteran, well I applied for the job. Uh -huh. Base security for the for the uh, China Lake Police Department, and it took me right on in. Uh huh. And then I, I was living with my sister at the time, and uh, so wound up in six months, three, two months later, wound up by renting a house over here. Uh huh. I've been there ever since. Wow. Okay, we're gonna take a little breather here. Yeah. So, well, you live in a ghost town. Well, the house I used to I live in now used to be a, it used to be a house of prostitution. Oh well. Uh, years, some of those ladies ago. are still active. Yeah, they're lucky you. <laughs> uh, well, uh, you know, we, we coexist in there. Yeah, we. T I talk to them all the time. You yeah, know? yeah. Uh, we were talking about a story about the VA. So you got the job. It basically uh, right, no, security, I, and then yeah, you came out. Yeah, when I came up here, just like it fell right into it. Uh huh. And uh, I worked here for three years. Uh huh. And then I couldn't hold a gun no more. Uh -huh. I started shaking really bad. Then now they see me as a bunch of psychiatrists, and now it's uh, diagnosed as uh, 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 post traumatic stress. Post traumatic stress. And then I got a letter from the government state, now I'm unemployable. Uh -huh. So now they're so helping me out. So now they have to pay you. Yeah, now they're, now they're, they're helping me out. Now. And you can live in a ghost town. How wonderful. You see how how crazy, weird things turn into blessings? Yeah. They do, they do. Thank God for that. Yeah. I don't know where I'd be right now. Yeah. Yeah, what's the name of this town? I forgot just that quick. This is Randsburg. Randsburg, yeah. We saw it on the way down, but we, we didn't know how much further we had to go and we were tired. Yeah. So this is wonderful. It's a real teaching tool for Tina too. I'm really excited that you're so open with us. Yeah. yeah. So, and then uh, I'm gonna pan out the little, the little shop over here. Okay, that's Cowboy Bob's. Cowboy, Cowboy Bob's? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He deals in anti anti antiquities. He's uh -huh. got all kinds of nice stuff in that store. Yeah. Maybe I'll let me film a few. I'll ask him. As soon as we have some battery power here. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we stopped. Anyways, like I was telling you, um, I want to tell, tell the viewer I had one set of books. My books. The old, uh -huh. the first one and the moral of the story is... And, this, and the other one, remembering your future, we've been hauling it all over the place and we promised everybody to email them and I decided to leave them here because you don't have a library. No, we don't. Yeah, so, but now you've got some, oh. Yeah, when, as we were driving, I thought I had a big bug next to my car. And I couldn't follow, figure out why it kept following me. But you see the alien here? It's the shadow from the alien. It wasn't a bug at all. I had one of these on my area for a long time. Did you? Yeah. yeah. So, well, okay. Yeah, I got a picture in my house like this, eight by ten, uh -huh. of a big gray. Do you? Yeah, it says right underneath it, it says, we are here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we came to some um, areas uh, they were under surveillance back on the other side of Bishop. Yeah. Yeah. So. And the men in black now have gray cars. Huh. We saw them. 
Yeah. Yeah. Anything I... else you can think of? Not really. <laughs> okay, well, then we can just turn this thing off and thank you for sharing. Okay. Anything yeah, else? I'm gonna. Well, it's closed. We'll be hoping to for visit lunch. with we him again. We don't have time to wait. So, we'll just show you the outside. It says rooms. Starting at forty dollars. This and, year we're uh, gonna stay so there. Person could actually stay here. It's called Cow Cowboy Bob's. Vulcanized. We pull that in. I think we'll drive all the way to the other end of town. And uh, here's the park. And again, old houses. So we're going to drive uptown and film on the way out. And it's time for us to go. we got to get at least a bishop today. Hole in the wall. We're going to go up the highway here. Show you the little town. Get the ride on the dashboard. How about that? Austin's secondhand garage. It's got a Native American on one side and a lady on the other. You want to do it? Oh, I'm sorry. Sure. You want to? Okay, it's, it's rolling. Oh, definitely. See? This has been a really fun place. Okay. Over there, we have some older homes that they used to live in, and that looks like um. What are those things called? Uh, a smith. Uh, what is this? Blacksmith. Blacksmith. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blacksmith shop. Now it looks like we've got some RVs for sale from the people that still stay within this town. That's oh. why it's called the Living Ghost Town. Yeah, see, that's a hotel. There's a cafe. It's a cafe. And the Opera House is what it's called. Oh, it's just the post office, but they closed at 1130. So we're going to go up the here. The Cottage Hotel, not Motel. Wow. Must be something. Fifteen or forty dollars a night. And they have small a night. Rooms. But remember what the man said. No come in the rain, you can't get here. This must be the church this woman was talking about. Santa Barbara Church. Okay, and so we're gonna turn around. Oh look up there. Some old we're gonna turn around here. Okay, I'm gonna get up here real quick. An old preserved living ghost town. Uh -huh, this is a mine shaft and stuff. So, all unlicensed motor vehicles. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look on this side. This is low. Cool. They left everything just the way it was. Look at the cactuses. Hold on. Look at those cactuses. Mm -hmm. He now discovered the button. Everything's really nice. But it's still mm -hmm. for us. So we're gonna roll you right through town here. At 20 miles, 10, 15 miles an hour. How cool. You've got antiques in this little town as well. Uh-huh. Well, the whole town's antique. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's their fire department. They're legal and legit. They're making sure everybody stays safe in this little town. And everything's preserved. We kind of hope that makes up for not being able to go to the museum, you know. Service station. I see any gals. He never did That's find out what shop. vulcanized meant. We That's saw that word vulcan closed. often. There's another hotel. The joint, which looks like a little bar. Uh -huh. And then we got the Ice House Antiques over there. And it's right around Johannesburg and Red Mountain on 395. Actually, I think 
I think uh, Mike and Connie Johns taped the story for me here early in the year. He did, and I couldn't use There's it. It was too restless. Yeah. But I have a jailhouse. How cool. And there's the outhouse. Wow. The jailhouse and the outhouse. Cool, huh? And over there, I would think this would be the Sarah Nevada, so I don't know. Those were the nice people that gave us the information earlier. You're watching a visit with a and person a visit to of high strangeness. The living ghost town. The living ghost town, yes. I, they came here and filmed this for me because I remember them talking about it. So it'd be interesting to see how different. Yes, you are. I am? I think so. Subject to flooding, and look how long the road is. Yeah, and how high. They said everything gets cut off when it, when the rain comes. Yeah, we hope we so don't run into it. So you can when we get further up north this year. and it starts raining. We're heading for the hills. There's no telling when we'll get off. <laughs> when we'll get but off. when we get there, the universe will put us there. That's it. I hope we went the right way. I'm sure if not, then like I but said, no. <laughs> <laughs> the universe has not misguided us or misled yeah. us on this trip yet, so I don't think it's going to let us down anytime soon. Oh, how cool. I'm at one with myself almost, viewers. <laughs> this area on 395. That's what we come to. Um, I'll show you where it is here in a minute. It's still windy. It's hot. And we are on the high Sierras. We have shelter in case it rains. Map. So we are there. You're here. Koso Junction. It was a very clean uh, rest area. Says, welcome to the Eastern Sierras. Hey, please. So. You want me to translate it? Yeah, no, no, just, no. just for our Polish way. friends. Sometimes we don't even have to go to California <laughs> to find stuff. We are hiding from the beast. That's it. But of my mamans, I think. Uh, oh, gee. Yeah, we. Can you believe this? Look at this. They didn't like us at all. That's probably why the bees they were here. so active. They sprayed. This and, but today um, was actually the fiatus. Yeah, you can read it. So Today's we hope you enjoyed. They let us come in here. Road one and, and so number six. Bail out. I don't think they want us to be here today. We're gonna play so some gonna Native American music for, for you. Uh, what, uh, Given to us by. We see you next week. Yeah, what's the closing? By the Cheyenne uh, no, from well, Black Bear Productions. What's the closing? We see you next week. And bye bye. Yeah, we'll see you next week. We're not done yet. And here we go again.
Andy working on the new version of Lillian Miss Lillian. He is now in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And we'll see you next week. Thank you. Love you.